here with uh, head softball coach Jeff Dabney. And coach, we just want to talk to you a little bit about how everything is starting out this fall. Uh, how's fall practice going so far? Fall practice is going well. Kids have been competing. You know, having them some fresh faces here has actually helped get a more competitive attitude in practice. You know, we've been pitting them against each other for the last three weeks, which was our goal coming into fall practice. So it, it, I've, it's the best fall practice we've had since we've been here. And I believe it's part because of new talent, part because the old older players are, are more are buying into what we're doing more. And the fact is that everybody knows that you know the best players are going to play, so they have to compete every day. Last year you brought in a large group of youngsters, and this year you've added even more. Talk a little bit about uh, the new players and the new, just as a group. Well, as a group, you know they fit the, what we were trying to get as we're building this program. We wanted to be more athletic. We wanted to be multiple. We wanted to have, have the ability to have kids that play everywhere. And we didn't want specific, you know, she's just the first baseman. She only plays second base. She can only play right field. We wanted kids that, you know, we knew every day that when they look next to each other to go, we have to compete against the person that's playing the position today and, you know, the other 18 people that are sitting on, at other positions right now. Um, you know, we can go around the field. We have brand new pitcher, Shelby Dawson, who started off well for us this fall, is throwing well. Uh, really gaining experience and understanding of how to pitch at this level. Uh, loving where she's going. Can't wait to see how she uh, progresses through the fall and into the spring. Uh, new catcher, uh, Lindsey Burgess. Another kid, big upside. Uh, power kid, great arm. Has the ability to catch, short, play anywhere in the infield. Uh, if we needed her to, she could pitch for us. Uh, you know, first base, you got Audrey Sensing. Audrey's another power threat that we wanted. Loving the way she's swinging the bat right now. Keeping it aggressive. She's going to do big things for us, I believe. Uh, you know, we have Jaina Hanawahini. You know, we went out to, to the islands again. Uh, you know, slick fielding shortstop. Has some pop in the bat. Runs well. Has the ability to play anywhere as well. Uh, you know, Brianna Roberts, corner infielder. Could play in the middle. Uh, another power bat. Having a great fall right now. Uh, Casey and Kiara, you know, my twins. They're not really twins, but you know, they're, they're our, our two of our new outfielders. Speed game, you know, two of our hardest work. You know, they have, they have an understanding of what we want done. We're getting better every day. Uh, you know, as a group, overall, they're just they're great kids. You know, which was one of the main factors we recruited them all. Our, our intent was not only just to bring talent, we had to bring good kids in. And the more kids we bring in, the better the environment is, they're getting along well. I can't complain. You know, my only worry with this entire group is how good can we make them as coaches? Are we coaching them up well enough? Are we giving them the proper information they need to get better every day? We don't have problems. They, you know, it's just like last year. They're a good group together, and that's only going to make us stronger as a program. Now you've had an opportunity to get out and play a little bit, and the first thing was uh, the alumni game. And we had a lot of uh, former players come in, a couple from last year, but also a lot of people who filled the record books, like uh, Amanda Vaught and Candace Hildebrand and Bridget Metzger, Tamara Perkins, Diana Clifford, and such. What was that? You know, that was huge. Experience? Oh, that that was huge. I mean, when you come into a program and you're taking over your new coach, you know. Our initial thought was, you know, get the program right, get it to the standard we wanted. But we would lost track as a coaching staff and as a program of being connected to the people that came here before. And it was important to me and it was important to, you know, them that they are included in what we do. Because, you know, no matter what the history of the program is and how many coaches we've had, they are a part of our success because without them, there is no us. And I wanted to make sure that they felt comfortable and connected to the program, even though I wasn't their coach, that they're still part of this family. And we need them. We needed them here. We needed our players to see what the history was like, who came here, and so that there was a, a bond between them. And we want them to come back for our games. We want them to be here annually. We want to do the alumni game every year. And having you know the alumni game this year and actually getting it set up 
and having so many people wanting to come, uh, it was it was special. And it was even funnier that you know as we're getting, I guess, with alums that were you know five, ten years graduate, we got phone calls and emails from the original recruits uh, from the day before. They were unable to make it uh, through the through Sunday, you know, through prior engagements. But we've already got it set up where they're going to come in here next year. We're going to get the first class, the entire first class, back. And that is important for our program. We have to be able to connect with the past to be better in the future. As you went on, um, as you continue the fall this past weekend, you had an opportunity to go to Louisville and play two games this weekend. Can you talk a little bit about the whole weekend and as a whole? It was a great opening weekend. Uh, you know, we lost four nothing to Louisville. You know, never happy with a loss. But when you sit back and you go, okay, first game of the season we're playing last year, a team that won 55 games, and we played a team. We played them tough, you know, made a couple errors, you know, lost and lose a ball in the sun here, ground ball there, you know, that helped with a few of their runs. But we had a freshman that we threw out there just to see how she handled the pressure, handled the moment. You know, she gives up one earned run. They only scored four. They scored four runs. They had one earned run. She gave up one earned run, and that's it. Defensively, you know, we handled most of the plays. Like I said, we had some issues in the sun. You know, I, I, I'll just take that as a that's our fault as coaches. We didn't work on it enough to get them prepared for it. Uh, we didn't swing the bat well, which I can understand. We had a lot of uh, youth uh, in that they weren't ready for the moment, I guess. A lot of nerves going on. But, you know, we played a solid game. Now, I think you give us that shot again in the same moment, you know, now that they've seen it, I think it'll be a completely different outcome. You know, because you look at game two, once we got it off our backs, you know, we played Bellarmine. Uh, we swung the bat. We were hesitant to swing the bat in game one. And all of a sudden, we understood the mentality that we're trying to foster here in practice that we're going to attack pitches. As soon as we attacked pitches, we blitzed it. You know, we were hitting balls all over the place. We were making things happen. And we scored more runs on Bellarmine than what, a couple of teams in our league, and Louisville did. You know. There were people in our league that were that played them, that played them, and the games were tight. And we basically knocked them out of the box within the first two minutes, and it all came down to mentality. This weekend, I walked away and I just smiled. I was happy because if we're like this right now, where are we going to be when we get to Alabama at the end of the month? Where are we going to be in February? And as we continue to progress on that point, where are we going to be in May? You know, this team has the ability to go as far as it wants to, and if it attacks and does the things that they did in the Bellarmine game, there are very few people that are going to stop it because we're going to be deep in the lineup for the first time since we've been here. And you touched on it just a second ago. At the end of the fall season, you're going to face off against the defending national champions, Alabama, down on their field for a doubleheader. Mm -hmm. um, but you started the season against a team that was ranked in the final rankings last year, number 18, again, Louisville. Um, obviously, we see what you're trying to do with a team like Alabama, and you played them last year, but what was the key to getting teams that were previously ranked uh, as, as high as they were to, to fulfill your fall schedule? One, I guess, is part in knowing people. Two, if you're willing to travel and play anybody, people will sketch you. you know? Alabama doesn't want to leave home very often. They get they get somebody to come to Tuscaloosa. They're more than willing to help you out, and bring you down. Louisville, same way. It's all about uh, you know going through and seeing who's willing to play. And with us, I want to give our kids the toughest schedule we can. You know, while giving them a great experience, but I want them to see the level of play we're trying to get to. You know, you go play in Alabama in the fall. Well, if you come out and you win the OVC tournament. You know, you could get sent to play Alabama again in a regional. Well, if you don't play teams like that early on so they see how much they need to work and where they need to, to get better at, you'll just get mauled in those games. And our goal is to be in that moment in postseason. It's not just to be here. We're here to win, and we're here to win in postseason. And when, if we don't prepare them properly, we won't be able to. And, you know, thank 
you to Alabama, Louisville. Liston's coming here tomorrow. We, we are just happy that people are, are willing to play us and understand that they can get a competitive game with us. You know, if we didn't actually show up to these places and we get beat badly all the time, we're not going to be able to keep going back. You know, we played Alabama tough last year, and we're expecting to do it again. You're about four months from when the from when the season starts, and uh, what are some of the things you focus on during the fall, and how is it different uh, getting ready in the fall versus uh, three, four months from now? Uh, right now, we're really concentrating on, uh, you know, we've just spent the first three weeks really just focusing in on our offense and driving balls and becoming a more powerful team. You know, last year, you know, we were really big on hitting singles, which didn't score a lot of runs, and we're trying to do things, you know, doubles and home runs to score runs. So we've broken down the fall into segments. We spent the first three, two, you know, two and a half weeks working on, you know, our mentality, attacking at the plate. The next couple of weeks, we're going to be working on, you know, shoring up, you know, their individual skills defensively, making sure the pitchers are a little more polished heading into the, to the, uh, the off season, and understanding situations. It's more of an individual time. Uh, when we come back in the spring, we'll, we'll nail down like team defense and more scrimmaging and just gameplay stuff. Right now we're focusing on the individual in the fall and in the spring we're going to focus more on the team stuff. You mentioned Luke's come, coming in tomorrow, um, home game, mm -hmm. and plus having an opportunity to play Luke's you know, kind of speak a little bit about that as well as, uh, you know, bringing people out to the ballpark. Okay. Uh, well, tomorrow we have Lipscomb, another quality team. Uh, they're coming in, hopefully, with the number of kids we have. We got kids coming from class and stuff. You know, once we get them all in, all at the same time, we're looking for a competitive game. You know, once again, just to see how we're progressing from the game we played uh, last weekend, and see if we're getting better and we're understanding the philosophy of the coaching staff. And then, you know, we go into fall break. Uh, you know, it's a doubleheader. Should be quality game, and I think people need to come out and just give a watch. You know, we've been putting out the word and let people know we're playing Thursday. We'd like for people to come out and give us a good crowd, but I want them to come out and see the potential that they could see in the spring. You know, we're aiming to put out a good show, put out a good product and be an entertaining group. And if we don't uh, show our fans that early enough, they might not come in, in the spring. So it's just like, hey, we're out here. Here we come. This is your softball team. We're going to show you, you know, a great product, and want you to come out and enjoy yourself, enjoy the atmosphere, and watch, you know, a really great team play great softball. All right. Thank you, Coach. No problem. Peace.